You feel like you should have shipped those last minute gifts yesterday. It's probably because you should have. With Christmas now just seven days away, Americans are making a last ditch effort to get their Christmas gifts in time. ABC 7's JC Navarrete has a look at the shipping scramble. And JC, is there still time to get those Christmas gifts shipped? Please tell me yes. Well, Steph, raise your hand if you're a procrastinator. I'm hoping it's not just me here that's raising their hand. There is still time to send out those gifts, but you better do it quick. Some bad news here is that all the major, major carriers have gotten rid of their money back guarantees for timely deliveries. Another bad news here is that you can't also uh, ship anything through the ground anymore. That deadline has now come and passed. There is some light at the end of the tunnel, though. If you haven't shipped your gifts, you can still do so through the air. Bye, thank you. I can get him. It's the race towards the finish line. Thousands of packages flooding postal offices just like this one. Doing that last minute, sending it out to the kid and the grandkids up in Utah, Salt Lake. And I came a little bit too late, but here I am. Anthony was one of dozens we came across today who were making that final push. This is the busiest time of year for Pete and Letty Carrasco, who own the postal annex on Mesa. There's no money back guarantees from any of the three carriers, FedEx, UPS, or the mail. They're not giving your money back. They're trying their hardest. Most of the packages are being delivered on the scheduled dates, just not at their commitment time. Um, this year will prove to be an even bigger challenge. COVID-19 has many of you shopping online rather than in store. Let's go. Shipping carriers handling even more precious cargo this year, the COVID-19 vaccine. This postal annex is seeing numbers like they've never seen before. Three or 400 boxes a day, packages a day. It's a lot of volume and we scan every single one of those in. It's a lot of manpower and that's really affected us. That is a big change from the, from what we've ever dealt yeah, with. If you procrastinated, yeah. it's likely going to cost you, as you'll now have to pay higher rates for air shipments. A lot of people will be saying, well, that costs more than what's in the box, but procrastination station, El Paso, Texas. Well, they say it's the most wonderful time of year. It's the busiest time of year for postal workers and couriers. If this place looks like it's jam-packed with packages, wait till you see what's going on inside. These mailboxes right here inside the postal annex, you'll see things such as big packages, some smaller packages right here, and even some letters coming in to El Pasoans from folks in other cities and, of course, outside the U.S. Since folks are not traveling this year, they're sending Christmas cheer through the mail. The biggest part of it to see her in her dresses we bought and all the little, you know, uh, toys she gets. Definitely the pictures are worth more than anything. So. Now, when it does come time to that uh, shipping with that COVID-19 vaccine, both FedEx and UPS say that they have their meteorologists checking out those weather reports for the northeastern states to make sure that there are no delays in shipping that vaccine right there. They also have their plans in place in case weather does become an issue. Now, Steph, please tell me yeah, that you've sent all your goodies to your friends and families all over the states. Is that the case? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not done. Uh, I guess they're going to get there late. <laughs> Sorry, JC. I raised my hand when you Better did. Better late than never. <laughs> That's true. It's always a thought that counts, right? But they are going to get there. Just maybe really close exactly. or late. All right. Thanks, JC. And